guys, how's it going? Chez back again with another episode of the Chelsea Career Mode here on Xbox One. And first things first, I want to say welcome. Welcome to those of you that have come across from MGH's channel. I was uh, fortunate enough for uh, for him to see one of my videos, and he was kind enough to drop a like on one of it. And uh, we actually jumped up by like 150 subscribers in about 24 hours. So if you've come across from uh, from Matt's channel, thank you very much for coming across. I hope you uh, you were clearly you enjoyed what you saw because you subscribed. So uh, hopefully you uh, you'll stay for the long run. We've got plenty of uh, FIFA 14 and FIFA 15, 16, 17, who knows how long this journey, this YouTube journey will go on for, but let's cut back to the action. Basically, thanks for coming across, I really do appreciate the support, but we're back into the Premier League now, we're playing Reading away from home, playing a bit of a rotation side, considering they're not necessarily the most competitive of teams, with all due respect to Reading, of course they've recently come up from the uh, from the Championship, and actually the first thing that happens in this game is we're going to pick up an injury, uh, it's Gary Cahill that goes down under the challenge from a Reading striker, and unfortunately he's actually going to be out for four weeks with that sprained ankle and you'll be able to see from the replay he does actually turn his ankle quite nicely as he falls to the ground there with uh, the Reading striker I can't remember who it is they had a striker that I th genuinely did not recognise his name don't know whether they brought him in from uh, some obscure uh, obscure European team but uh, we came close to going 1-0 up there Oscar with a fantastic opportunity if he just held his composure if I'd have just taken my time with that shot rather than rushing it as you can see he had space around him and they probably would have been able to put that into the back of the net rather than smashing it wide of that left hand post but uh, they were going to come close at the beginning of the second half they came flying at me the uh, the first half was very much a, uh, a slow half unfortunately Reading were very very defensive and I wasn't able to create much against them but they opened up a little bit towards the uh, towards or into the second half and we were actually able to catch them on the counter attack here and it's Romelu Lukaku who gets on the end of the sweaty ball across from Willian to give us a 1-0 lead just a few minutes into the second half they stepped forward and there was some space in behind and of course when you've got the pace of players like Willian in the uh, starting line up it's always going to be an opportunity come its way or come your way to uh, to take the lead and that's exactly what happened so I made a couple of changes up top bringing on Oscar or taking off Oscar for Marco Royce bringing on Luis Muriel trying to uh, get him a debut goal and he comes so close as well hitting the inside of the post in second half stoppage time I was trying to kill the game off with those two changes and Royce is going to bring in this whip in this corner falls to Dave on the edge of the box and how is that for a strike from a right back absolutely wonderful connection from Cesar Aspilicueta of course, we uh, we all call him Dave at Chelsea because Aspilicueta is quite hard to uh, to churn out when you're in the middle of just spouting a commentary. But uh, Aspi absolutely strikes absolutely strikes that with a fantastic shot right in, into that top right hand corner. We definitely will see all three replays of that because it's rare that you see uh, a right back that far up the pitch, especially from a corner. You, you normally leave your your pacey wing backs back at halfway to cover for the counter attack but he decided to push forward and I'm so glad that he did because that finished the game off and we were able to run out 2-0 winners with that goal in the 97th minute 97th minute that's insane of course the uh, clearly the injury from Gary Cahill earlier on in the game added on some uh, some extra added time towards the end of the game but I uh, put in an offer as you saw earlier on for Quadro Asamoah and uh, that was actually rejected so I thought I'd try something we're not going to use Victor Moses. I don't seem to be able to sell him or move him out on loan or sell him. So uh, maybe, maybe Juventus might be interested in uh, in a deal to uh, to kind of sweeten the deal as a make weight plus a little bit extra money for Quadra Samura. And they actually accepted it. So I'm throwing him in a contract here, as you can see, and he accepted that straight away as well. This whole deal kind of took place over the uh, the period of about two days in between the uh, the Reading match and this Co uh, Copper Europe match. It's actually the Super Cup. So uh, Quadra Samura is in and in the starting lineup. as is Luis Muriel, both players making their start in this, or making their debuts or starting debuts because, of course, uh, Muriel came off the bench in that Reading game. But we were hoping they were going to have a decent influence on this one. Of course, if you remember, you cast your mind back, Zenit St. Petersburg were actually in our group in the Champions League, which of course we eventually won, which is why we're playing in the Super Cup. And uh, Zenit clearly dropped out of the Champions League at the first hurdle at the group stage and then actually went on to win the Europa League, which is exactly what Chelsea did IRL last season. So a fair play to them. And they actually started off very, very brightly. They had a couple of opportunities early on. And uh, I started a rotation side again. I wanted to start a full... Uh, a full full strength 11 but unfortunately we got Manchester United two days after this so I had to start a rotation side so that was Quadro Asamoah's first touch of the ball as a Chelsea player a scoop turn around the corner absolutely superb and then Lewis Muriel gets on the end of that one but unfortunately under the pressure of two defenders can't get his effort on target but we're going to get another fantastic opportunity here Quadro Asamoah gets sent through fantastic run in behind the defence he's a great strike with his left foot he's got a lot of shot power behind that left peg and unfortunately the keeper makes 
makes a great save, but he's going to take the corner himself. In it comes, up goes Branislav Ivanovic, and into the back of the net goes the ball, and Ivanovic races straight across to celebrate with his new teammate, and I was absolutely delighted that Asamoah had such an instant impact, and he had an instant impact. How's this for Luis Muriel? That is how you score your first goal for your new club. After uh, Dave's effort in the uh, in the game against Reading was an absolute screamer, that one is just as good. First time turn, nice uh, training ground move, and then that finish is just next level. I was so, so impressed with that from Luis Muriel. And that is exactly what he brings to the table. Those quick feet to make that turn and get the ball away. Sift it out of his feet, open the space, defender can't keep up with him. And he's got the finishing ability to be able to pull out a shot like that. Absolutely superb. And Lars Bender almost scores a third screen of the episode. Fantastic strike. And this time the goalkeeper is able to get up to it, up towards the corner and keep it out. And they were going to come close to getting one back just before half time. Hulk's played in through behind and he'll be really disappointed with that finish going so close to that near post he will really have wanted to get them back into the game but that's how we went in at half time 2-0 up looking comfortable but it was in all honesty a very very even game and they were having chances but they weren't necessarily as clear cut or they were wasteful and uh, this is another example of the wastefulness especially of Hulk he, uh, he clearly should have put that one at least on target and worked the goalkeeper but I made a couple of changes later on in the first half took off Luis Maria and Willian brought on Romelu Lukaku for a physical presence up top and actually gave Piazzon his debut for the uh, for the first team in this career mode he was out on loan last year at Malaga or Vitesse on them actually I think perhaps but uh, but he's come onto the pitch making his uh, debut for me let's say in uh, in this career mode but it was actually Zenit St. Petersburg that were going to get themselves back into the game, back into contention with a wonderful strike. This time Hulk was able to find the target and how right into that top left hand corner. It was a wonderful finish. If you see from the replay or if you go back and see from the chance as it was created, I kind of tucked in the uh, the other centre back, pulled him across to try and cover and that left the space in behind for uh, for Hulk to run into. As you see the, the other centre back has been drawn across. Aspie can't come across to cover because he's got a man of his own and unfortunately Hulk was free. But that was a fantastic finish and uh, take nothing away from that really really fantastic way to get Zenit St. Petersburg back into the game we were going to try and make it three and put it all to bed but unfortunately the shot from Bender was tame right down the goalkeeper's throat but we were going to end up winning the game they tried to clear here catch me on the counter attack as you can hear in the background the crowd go nuts we've won at the Copa Europa or the Copa Europe and that is going to be our first trophy of the season our third as Chelsea boss Champions League and Capital One Cup final last time out or last season Copy Europe already this year and that is going to bring this particular episode to a close. So thank you very much for watching guys. Please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. That would be absolutely superb. Subscribe if you haven't. There will be an annotation on screen in the top right and a link in the description to do so. And I will leave you in the most capable hands of Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. You said it often before Alan, you... You can't take for granted you'll ever win anything again. So when you do get a winner's medal, as they're getting here and celebrating, just drink it in, milk the moment. It's easy to think that the good times will keep on a rolling, but it's not always the case. I think these players appreciate that. It's been a brilliant occasion. All credit to the organisers for the way it's staged. It sets it up makes it such a theatre for these football performers to go on. And this team didn't fluff their lines, did they? They certainly didn't, and that's so satisfying as a professional. You can look back to your big moments, the big occasions, and know that you played your part, you played well. Good team, aren't they? And I think there's only better times ahead for this group of players.